go. Welcome, friends, to another episode of Smoke Him If You Got Him, a pretty simple podcast. You roll one up, you smoke it up, you listen to a record with us, and you listen to us talk about it. It'll be a cool experience, it'll be a different record every time, and it's one every day. So join me with my host, Jeremiah Charlton, as we trudge on the waters of today's experiment. Jeremiah, bring it us up. I am the Oracle of Oxford County. And I'm bringing you just a just a gem today, <laughs> Ben Crow Magnon, and uh, the album is Orgasm, and it's going to uh, fuck your brain basically. It's it's, it's going to be a very aggressive journey today, folks. I have uh, I still have scrambled brain from it. It's a 1969 release, Orgasm, uh, Crow Magnon. It's um. Can you give us the stats on this record before we get into the discussion of uh, side A? What uh, what what's the going price for it out there? Uh, you can get one of these for somewhat reasonable, around I'd say like um, one hundred and fifty bucks. There you go. Put this one on your list. It's so uh, this one not a big deal. I mean, like we talked about, Tone Float was like yeah, like a copy was like twenty five hundred euros. So yeah, I mean this is this is a, a bargain, a mere a mere pittance. In for, in, for, in uh, comparison, uh, this ain't nothing. A mere pittance. This is nothing. Um, so you know, I already said at the top of the hour we need to uh, do for this album. I think it's uh, time for uh, you, listener and friend, to join us. Smoke Go them if you got them and do it. Don't think about it twice. Focus on what we're doing and uh, listen to side put A your, of this album. Put your phones down and just listen to this music, please. Yeah. Okay, we talked about this. Go on the journey. Come back to us. We'll talk about it. Uh, please join us. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. And we're back. And you are sick for putting this album up to bat. It made me feel a lot of feelings. So do you think we lost a lot of our listeners on the third the third? No, these these <laughs> these no, these people are smart, educated individuals that know that this is deeper. This is knowledgeable. If you don't get it, you'll get it eventually. I, I'm look, here's here's the thing. When you make an album like this in nineteen sixty-nine, um the, the closest thing I can put this, uh, in my opinion, is uh people that have never played the instruments that they're playing. <laughs> <laughs> accompanying two dudes that can semi play what they're doing <laughs> but they're going full blast like we i think the one constant that we've talked about is authenticity this album couldn't be uh, more authentic if it if it tried what about originality though yeah the, you tell me you tell me what song sounds like caledonia track one side a folks you know uh I can't, but what I can tell you is that the band Ghost made a cover of that. Yeah. And that and what that's about, that's heavy. Uh, what about uh the vocal track? What about the vocal track? What about the uh bagpipes? What about the uh tribal drums made up of homemade instruments and sticks beating against trees? I can't see for if you've you have to listen to this. You got you to gotta roll a fat one today. It's Friday. I don't know what the hell you do with your life. Just, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, put double time on that thing. And then listen to this because it sounds like I'm making it up. But am I making it up? I'm not making it up. No, then this, this side is like, basically to me, that's a song. called Caldonia is a song. But then like everything else is, it's not very song-like no. on, the, on the first track, you know. It is, <laughs> is def, it, it's... Yeah, it's more like sounds and screaming and I really enjoy I'm a big fan of field recordings. I'm a big fan of samples being used. Uh I like what they did. Again, the this is nineteen sixty nine and people mm-hmm. are swinging for the stands. This this record is unlike anything. I, I imagine that when this was put down in the studio itself, this is one of those three AM sessions that a buddy set up for somebody who clean the studio and they do it at night because it just, the, the ruckus had to be tremendous, but it's still a journey and an experience where for me, it made me think uh, a lot about moments in life and memories and traumas and all that stuff. Not necessarily bad. It was just a very introspective style album, you know? Uh, what do you think about, here's a, a stat for you is that, 
During the recording, band members brought in random people from the street and asked them to contribute to the album. I, I swear, I Wikipedia. swear to God, you guys, <laughs> I really try. I I don't do any previous info digging on this, so we can hear it clean. I, this is one of the basis of this of this show. I do. I do. I look up the information beforehand. Uh, so I do, and we don't communicate about this before. So yes. I understand. Well, sometimes See, it's going to be about. right, folks, and sometimes it's going to be wrong. Yeah, that's uh, that's, that's the dead truth. on. There you go. Makes perfect yeah. sense. I mean, I, it's so early on that I, I almost wanted to call it No Wave. Like, it, it, it embodies that movement from New York, right, where uh, mm-hmm. you're going to mix and match uh, the jazz, the rock, the punk, and everything's just going to be this attack. Was there any, was there any other parts that stood out, like, in any of the... On the actual album? The track, well, the side A. Yeah. So side A for me, uh, Organic Sundown, Caledonia, obviously, because it's the opening of the album. Nothing sounds like this, but Organic Sundown, which is uh, the third track on it. It's the first track uh, so far in this record, like the longest one. I think it, it's about six, seven minutes. Um, right. But at that point, the previous tracks, the anxiety of it had been washed away. So I was able to enjoy what was happening. You know, I was mm. able to enjoy the journey of what they were building. I don't know what they were building, but I was into it. So, yeah, Organic Sundown was my my first uh, thing that stood out other than the opening uh, track. What about you? What 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 stood out for you? Uh, I really thought Caledonia is a, is a great song. Great song. It'd be on my it'd be on my uh, playlist, mm-hmm. you know. It really sounds like uh, music that, like, um, the Process Church were fucking oh, each other to. Oh, and if you don't know, sidebar, if you don't know about the Process <laughs> right, Church. Right, like. Uh, yeah, well, I'll make, sh- I'll make sure to put a, a link. Son. Yeah, you got you to get on that. You got to get on that. I, you know, Caledonia's, uh, um, I believe it's on a, you might know this better than I do, but I'm, it might be on a Billboard uh, Greatest Songs. No, 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 no. It was, uh, it was. Oh, it's on Pitchfork. Pitchfork. It's on Pitchforks. It was Pitchforks, one, one of the two. Uh, there you go. Two hundred greatest songs of the '60s, and just for funsies, guys. I, I, I played bass to all those songs just for fun. Yeah, this is what happens. That's why. And, that's uh, why while, this is no bullshit. This is fun. This is people that spend time listening to music and paying attention to music, and this is why you are here. It, and it, and it did it did stand out. Yeah, <laughs> that song did stand out. <laughs> oh, it's, I, it, it had to be sandwiched in between things that had no. There was no. You know, give, give me give me some. There, there, it wasn't bad. It wasn't but like pitch pitchforks. Not bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. I, yeah, that's a that's how I'd say their lists are. List. There's a lot worse lists. I can tell you. Yeah, that. I was going to say list making is a treacherous, treacherous thing. Yeah. Um, one only my lists are correct. One uh, one more note that I'll say about side A because of Caledonia, it uh, it reminded me a lot of. Uh, I'm a big fan of early black metal and Finnish black metal, mm. and it gave me that Bursum, that that German cold steel, like any industrial shit. Oh, oh one hundred percent. I mean, uh, I'm gonna I probably will butcher the name, but Einstuhl said they know about them, which is a German band. Right. And, uh, uh, definitely has that sort of thing. I, they, they, ah, they deal the in music. It. The, the music that German people pee on each other too. Something like that, man. But you know what? But it's a good time, <laughs> and everybody respects each other. And that's what you're supposed to do. Hey. That's what you're supposed to do. I'm, I didn't say it was good or bad. I just was pointing out a fact. I'm saying it's good. We should move over to the to the B side of this. Uh, and uh, guys, yes. please just cut the bullshit. Do yourself a favor. Go and roll a double. This is by far the the, the one that oh, has pushed. You need to. That this has pushed me the furthest. Somehow we were on the same timing schedule with this album, and I finished the album four minutes ahead of schedule. I'm just saying. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Take your time with this, and uh, we will be right back. <laughs> and we are back. Well, almost back. Yeah. Uh, now. Side B, home run for me. It was a home run. Side B is a masterpiece. I think. Oh, I think now that you one of my favorite away, songs yeah, go of ahead. all time. Go ahead. Hit Toth Scribe one. one. Yeah, yeah. 
Toth Scribe won second. Uh, what is this? I'm sorry, it's the third song. Here. Yeah, and it's also the longest one on this on this album. Uh, it's a point to make here that this is the only album that exists for this band. There are rep- reprints and reissues, easy for me to say, but this is it. You know, they, they didn't push any further than this. I think that song, at okay. maybe 10 minutes, yep. is, is the grossest thing they came up with. Why do you like it oh. so much? Well, because it is. It's their finest statement. Yep. It's, it's impressive, man. That's a, that's a powerful piece of music. Yeah. You know, like that has a vibe to it. It is heavy. Oh, man. Not many people played in those waters. I'll put it that way. Yeah, and I think at that point, if you if you are Toth following, subscribe one. Where I mean, we're talking about some dark dark magic, Aleister Crowley shit too. Yeah, there's a lot of ritualistic uh, aspect to to this whole thing. I mean, it, it's very tribal. Uh, it catches you off guard. I mean, clocking in at around nine ten minutes. I mean, it's the longest song, right? So at some point, you lose yeah. track of time. Also, if you're doing this the way that we told you here in Smoke and We Got Him. You're listening to the whole it thing. It hits you sonically, you really sonically hard the too. right place, right? Because now we're now we're a couple of songs hard. deep, and uh, it's a different thing. I I agree with you. The the, the fun song so, for me here was the one before though, genitalia. Genitals. Genitalia oh, is yeah. It's just such a great like. Hey guys, this is going to be the last time you're going to have a fun time for a while. Enjoy this one. So I want to tell the the uh, listeners just a, a story of hope and, and freedom in these dark times. Please do preach on, my brother. I was at preach a, on. I was I was I was at I was at a, a record store, and uh, the girl who worked there, absolutely the prettiest girl maybe I've ever seen in my life, and we're talking about music, and uh, the song she tells me about is uh, I'm a janitor. <laughs> And I was like, I never heard it. I never heard it before, right? Like, like she's like, she's like, yeah, it's a really good song. It's really ca-. oh, because she had the T-shirt on of the band. Okay. okay, right. That's how it. That's how it started. And she's like, yeah, look it up. And then like, so like the hottest girl ever. And like, and I so I look it up, of course. And the chorus is, oh my genitals, oh my genitals, I'm a janitor, I'm a janitor. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, what a great thing. Yeah. Like, like. Mm. yeah happy memories yeah happy memories so going back to the back to back to the album folks <laughs> g's second favorite song was genitalia yeah. what do you think about uh the first track crow of the, crow black, the black tree. tree so i think this is crow of the black tree i'm sorry a crow of the black can't, tree. can't speak uh i think uh well you were t- that relentless acoustic guitar over and over that's again that's a great like, word it's punishing it, oh it it was it was just like it reminded me of the guy at the party who only knows those three chords and he's fucking hammered yeah. and he's gonna play them over and oh, over this and is, over this again. is happening whether you want to or not it's happening he's playing those mm. three chords yeah it's yeah. relentless it's uh punishing it's uh you know this side of the album the b-side like, of the i album. thought it was cool because it was like oh there's guitar yeah that's yeah, nice yeah. right <laughs> Dude, at, this, <laughs> at first at this point but then it's like yeah yeah you're like oh that's something yeah. to grab a hold yeah. of and then they play the just the same shit was relentless bang it to death over yeah. you like oh submission, but then yeah, I'm telling you like uh, Gentilly, but then that song man, Toss Scribe Toss Scribe one. one. If you don't have any patience to go through the B side, which I understand, go through track seven. It's going to be worth your time. If anything, that is really this is the statement. That was the best way to, to explain it. That is the statement. And and again, we're listening uh, today to uh, Crow Magnon's Orgasm. This is 1969. It was recorded in New York. Um, oh, but ESP, on my on my label, the the, the hippest dippest label of them all, ESP. Disc. There you go. Do you have some info on ESP that you want to drop out? We need, we need to do a whole. That might be tomorrow's extra knowledge. Oh, people. that'd be fantastic. I, I'm in. I'm into that. See, guys, yeah. this is why it works really good. We're focused on this. We get good ideas. So, one of the things that uh, that I gotta bring out on this uh, album uh, that we haven't touched upon, but the music and and talking about Todd Scribe one, uh, the artwork to this album. Mm, going back again, every hey guys, this is three days in a row. We talk about it every Tell time. Them, son. If you make cool music, you have to have cool art. And if you have cool art and have shitty music, fuck you. you. Fuck you for fooling yeah, us. Uh, I wanna, okay? and, and you know who you I are. Wanna, <laughs> you know who you are. Yeah, you're going to be called out, son. This is, that's it. Um, 
the fact incredible album. incredible album incredible cover, album uh, the best way i can uh, i can explain it uh is uh george harrison with his third eye open watching the pompeii skeletons in a river of fire that comes out of the earth over the moon and it's all in the coolest hand drawn uh, set of colors it's uh very earthy and uh covered in royal purples and blues if you're looking at this cover while listening to this album, you will remain pure. I'll tell you that much. Uh, this is this is the hell of a statement uh, to make uh, when you only have artistically, yeah, artistically because '69 people mm. were digging onto the tie dye and yada yada yada. But when you put this album on, good night. That's not what you're looking for here. We have a pattern on the show, and uh, and I think uh, this was told in the first episode, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. But this is in your daddy's prog show. No, it's not. And and if there's a human being out there that owns all three original of these albums, and you can actually put this out there and show it to me, like you have mutual respect for me. Oh yeah. Mucho, mucho, mucho. If, if you have it and you send okay. us that, we'll send you a, a T-shirt of the podcast. All three, yeah, all oh, three. Yeah. We'll, we'll definitely do that. No problem. International Harvester, Tone Flow Organization, or I'm not talking no represses bullshit. None of that repress bullshit. Fuck you. I, I want originals. Yeah. Can you get if you have if you have all three? Yeah. Come talk to me. Otherwise, you can fuck right off. No, 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 no. Just, no. We 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 no, love you guys. No. Uh, you know, um, I'm getting the re- I'm getting the represses myself. Okay, so <laughs> I, hey, I'm a, we, and we, we'll probably talk this about extended uh, extended knowledge tomorrow. So, but uh, you know, I am a big fan of CDs, so I will generally go and get the original pressing of that CD. Which you know, you've... okay, people, people stop. Okay, don't don't hate him. No, but he's don't hate him. And he said that no, out loud. I have. Okay. There's no shame in my game about it. You listen to some shit. He has vinyl. Talk. He has Tons a lot of vinyl. Of vinyl. Tons of vinyl, tons. Of, I have cassette tapes, I have eight tracks, I have every medium. I'm yep. just telling you what it is. No bullshit here, you know. Um, so once again, Smoke and Begot and brought you Orgasm by Cro Magnon, 1969. By far the heaviest uh, album to get out, especially on the B side. Um, I know we don't have a rating system, and I want to stay away from all that. But folks, please no. push. Hard. Toth scribe yeah. one. Toth scribe Please one. Please push hard. If you couldn't get through, make it a point to come back and listen to Toth scribe one because that is the definition of a, of a statement for a band of this caliber. You know, that's just what it is. And uh, yeah, like folks, like where are we going to go tomorrow? That's that's the journey that we don't even I'm, know. Listen, where the expectations are we gonna go? we're gonna talk a little me. bit of ESP disc. Yeah. We're gonna talk a little ESP okay. disc. Now, if we're just going to talk about putting positivity out in the universe, like if anybody wants to get all the original copies of ESP Disc and bequeath them to me, that would be wonderful. Ooh. Bequeath them. Bequeath, bequeath them. them. You know what? I, I'm thinking that uh, maybe some playlists should happen with the ESP Disc, but we'll talk about that off air. I like this. Um, so, uh, you know, thank you for putting me through the ringer here mostly thank you. because yes, this was thank, a hell of a thank record. Thank you for coming yeah, with us, this guys. this was awesome uh, smoke them if you got them you know what it is you know what to do we're also on youtube coming through on facebook mm. go and check out the animated videos of the podcast watch the watch the youtube videos. yeah the youtube videos yes, is folks. where it's at um uh, you know we're going to keep bringing you quality and it's going to be definitely cool so see you tomorrow y'all all right smoke if you got them <laughs>